this. So, uh, uh, we'll be talking about uh, what just happened today on the 1001 episode of Raw. It was the, the main event was the number one contenders match for the WWE Championship. It was me, John Cena versus Big Show. And yeah, it's pretty boring, you know, seeing us two again. You just saw us in the feud. And honestly, I I don't think we're getting anywhere with the storyline other than uh, entertaining the Cena fans and the CM Punk fans. Um, of course, you've already seen me versus CM Punk before. You've already seen me versus Big Show before. This storyline is basically just combining the Big Show, CM Punk storylines with me in a triple threat match. Eventually. But, um, yeah. The number one contenders match, it ended with CM Punk interfering, and it looked like he attacked Big Show, which would mean that that would disqualify me and make Big Show number one contender. But, for some reason, WWE, whenever they have interferences nowadays, for some reason the announcer doesn't ring the bell and, and announce who the winner is because of disqualification of the opponent. And I think that is a logical flaw in WWE. I mean, in the past, they would, or I wonder if they still do that now, but very rarely. They would ring the bell and they would say, the result, the, the winner of this match as a result of this qualification, uh, big show. I, I would assume that's what it was. But you know how it is. The, they, the way they want to write the story is, CM Punk attack us, there's no winner, because he basically kind of attacked both of us. I didn't think so, it was mostly hitting Big Show, but yeah, so both of us were lying there, and then of course, the G new GM, General Manager AJ Lee, she comes out and she announces, oh, triple threat match, me versus Big Show versus CM Punk at SummerSlam. Uh, that was... Uh, very obvious. Our everyone should have already known that from the start. You know, in order to actually do something for the company and further the WWE, they could have easily uh, put a some sort of twist on this storyline and further the career of a new talent or some underutilized superstar. Um, out of all the the talent and the wrestlers I can look at right now um you see uh uh like Damian Sandow and Ryback they're still uh being built up so they can't enter the title picture yet and uh Dolph Ziggler he's busy uh with the money in the bank he's eventually gonna cash it in on uh Sheamus so he's not gonna be near our storyline and who else? Um, well, the rest of the talent is basically mid-card right now. It wouldn't make sense to put them in our storyline. So the only one that I can think of would be Jack Swagger. I mean, uh, if, if the WWE wanted him to be a face for once, it would really, uh, he would really fit in if, like, let's say, at the beginning of, of uh, today's episode, when Big Show came out and started arguing with CM Punk, Jack Swagger could have came out, and surprisingly, people would be all like, "Oh, well, what the hell is he out here for?" Because you know he's been losing. He has he's on a losing streak, and he's been a jobber, and all of a sudden he's in in our like main storyline. You know, it's, it's it's surprising. It's sudden, and. Have him come out as if uh, people don't know whether he's a heel or a face, but of course he'll reveal that he's a face because he's going to start arguing with Big Show. He's going to say, no, no, John Cena won. John Cena should have won against CM Punk or whatever. Fair and square, you shouldn't have interfered. This was John Cena's um, 
greatest chance. He just cashed in the money in the bank. He deserves this. But no, you had to interfere. And then basically, Big Joe gets pissed. And then Jack Swagger and Big Joe get in a little brawl. CM Punk lays back and doesn't care. Then I would come out and start beating up Big Show and help out Jack Swagger. And basically from there, I guess AJ would come out and instead of making it a number one contenders match between me and Big Show, it would be a triple threat number one contenders match and me, Big Show, and Swagger. And then at the main event, it would be uh, basically CM Punk would interrupt and not just attack me and Big Show, but he would also attack Swagger, so then all three of us would be down. And then, uh, maybe AJ could make it a fatal four-way at SummerSlam, so it would be me, Big Show, CM Punk, and Jack Swagger. Or, if she still wanted that triple threat, um, what she could do is, uh, she would put me in the match against, uh, Maybe she should do she do like a little mini tournament. She'll do next week. It's gonna be Big Show versus Jack Swagger, and uh, well, actually, that's not really kind of a tournament. I guess she'd just put me in the match against CM Punk at SummerSlam, and then do Big Show versus Jack Swagger. Whoever wins that would join our triple threat, and I'm hoping that would be Jack Swagger. So that, that's an interesting storyline right there, you know, you put Jack Swagger in there as a face, and then he can, he, he'll not necessarily win the title from CM Punk, because obviously uh, I've heard rumors that Triple H or McMahon, they want the world champion reign to be longer, so CM Punk's going to still hold the title, but at least Swagger is still in the main title picture. Which is a good thing, you know, it, it develops him into a, a, a star. And, and so the, the, the crowd, the WWE Universe doesn't have to just uh, look forward to just me and CM Punk and, then, and Big Show. You know, that, that's overdone already. All three of us, we're basically veterans now. It's time for Jack Swagger to rise up again. And uh, yeah, this is his chance. I think Jack Swagger's due for another push, and he deserves it. You know, he's he's been ECW champion before. He's been world champ. He's been United States champ. It's time for him to enter the picture again, but this time as a face. So, you know, it's time to break the losing streak, um, get into the main storyline, beat by being Big Show to get into our triple threat. And although he might lose in the triple threat SummerSlam, you, it's still a good build up for his character you know yeah, at least he's not really necessarily jobber anymore he's getting somewhere in his career yeah so uh, there's my two cents on that that's how it should be instead of just me Big Show and CM Punk you know throwing swagger so that we can have some talent to be utilized more correctly because we're running out of top store stars seriously me, uh, just me, CM Punk, and Big Show are all veterans, and it's pretty boring. And the crowd deserves more stars on the show. Seriously. All right, peace.